Glide recently released some really nice features that allow us to query an API, or in simpler terms, search a data set. So I wanted to show you how you could do something like this, how to create a dictionary search inside of Glide. Glide, and whenever I put that word in, it returns different definitions for that search word. So this is search. And it's searching a dictionary API dynamically inside of Glide. This is really, really good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you exactly how to create this inside of Glide. So the first thing we are going to need is a dictionary API, something that we can send a word to and it will respond back to us with some definitions for that word. Now there is a page, which I'll have linked below, called Public APIs on GitHub, which is just a collection of APIs that you can utilize. So exactly what I did when I was searching for this was I came to this page, I did a control F and searched for dictionary. And so then here it gives me dictionaries and then I can look at different options for dictionary APIs. Now I went with this one called free dictionary under authentication, it says no, basically means I don't have to register with their system. They're not gonna charge me for anything. It's free to use. Now, if you're not comfortable with APIs, I would invite you to check out my APIs made simpler ebook, which I'll have linked at the top of the description below. If we look here, they give us a Git. So Git word definition, so Git is a type of API call. It allows us to retrieve or fetch data or just get data based off what we pass into it. So basically what it's saying is you can use this URL template where you pass in the word at the end and we can see here they're querying hello. And whenever you do that, it's gonna send back some JSON, some data and JavaScript object notation with different definitions. So let's go ahead and grab this URL template. We'll paste it into a new tab. Let's search for black bear. What is a black bear? All right, so right here, it gives us a response here. And this really isn't easy to kind of read. So let's go ahead and throw this into a formatter. And I already have this pulled up here, refresh this. I'll have this link below too. Basically you can paste in unformatted JSON here, process, and it will give you formatted JSON. If you're not familiar with JSON, it's a way to structure data when it's passed between APIs and different systems. So lists of data are called arrays. They're denoted by these uh, square brackets. And then you have objects, which are property value pairs which are denoted by the curly brackets. So what we want is this definition. We need to figure out how to get this data in the glide and then parse it down to the definition based off the word that we pass in. So the plugin we're gonna use, it's called fetch JSON because we're fetching or we're getting JSON from an API based off what we pass into it. So we can see here, there's a place for us to try this out. So I'm gonna paste in this URL, paste in that, clear that, and then here we can see there is a result. So this is the, we have the array, the word black bear. And if we look at our JSON, again, we have an array word black bear. So that's just the full JSON. And so what we wanna do with this plugin is query down to that definition. So this is using the JQ query language. And whenever we start here, we always start with a period. So the first thing we see here is an array. Let's go ahead and get the first item of that array. Instead of denoting one, so when you're using, you're querying JSON, the numbers start at zero, one, two, three, instead of one, two, three, four. We'll start at zero. And this is just how you query down into JSON when it's an array. You use square brackets with the number in between. The other thing that you do whenever you're querying JSON is getting a property. So to get a property, you just do another period and then the name of the property. So in this case, let's get word. And then this gives us the word. But actually what we wanted is not the word, we wanted the meanings. So let's copy that property. So instead of word, let's paste in meanings. And this gives us the uh, another array of all the meanings. Let's get the first item in that array. And then right here, we wanna go to definitions. So I'll do a dot definitions. And here we wanna get the first definition. So I'll do zero from the array, the first one in the array. And then we wanna get the definition, which is the last property. All right, so now we have queried down using the JQ query language to grab the definition for whatever word we pass in. So if we were to pass in another word like black, it's gonna give us a new definition. Awesome, so now we are querying this uh, API based off the word we pass in, and it's giving us a definition back. And so now we want to create a Glide app to dynamically do all this for us, where we can type in a word and the Glide app will display back to us the definition or definitions 
a return from the API for that word. Let's jump into that now. All right, so if you haven't used Glide before, I will have my referral link below where you can sign up. But basically, Glide allows you to create apps that are instantly publishable apps and websites, rather. And it's just a really great way to create software. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And I'm going to create a new project. And I'm actually going to use the new Glide page product, which is in beta. Call this a dictionary. It's the name of the app. And I'm going to use Glide Tables. And I'm actually going to just go ahead and remove all these tabs and all of these tables here. We create a new Glide Table and we'll just call it Word. So I'm going to go ahead and create the one column that I do need to start out with, which is our search word. It's going to be a text entry. And I'm going to make this user specific. What this does right here is as different people are visiting my website, I want them each to be able to insert their own word. I don't want everybody to be updating this one individual cell. This field, this search word is gonna be user specific. So that's gonna be the only column I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these other ones. All right, so let's go back to the app interface and let's delete these. I need to create one before I delete that one. So this new page is gonna be based off word and we'll just call it search and then we'll delete this back office. So now we have this one page for search. And so here, let's delete these two components and let's just add a text uh, entry component. And it's not showing anything right now. And this is because there's actually no place for you to actually enter a word. Let me go ahead and create a cell. So I'll just say cell, seal, spell that totally wrong. So here, now we can actually start entering things. So let's do like return. And then now we see this reflected here. And I want this to be labeled as just search. Now what we need to do is pass this word that they're typing in into a URL and get the response back from that dictionary API. So all this is gonna be done in the Glide data editor. So what I'm gonna do is create a template column. Let's go ahead and paste in our URL that we've been using. So basically it's a template that we can then substitute data for. So I'm just gonna put in word here. So in place of word, let's pass in the search word. Then that you can see return is there. If we update this, it updates there. So this is the URL, the dynamic uh, search URL. So now what we want to do is pass this into the API. And to do this, we're going to get a experimental code column. And this is just letting you know this is all experimental beta. So I understand that. And we need a URL for the tool that we're going to be using. So if we go back to the Glide plugin page, let me move my face here. They actually have a link here that you have to copy. So you copy that link, press that button and then paste that in here and then load that in. And then it's now using the fetch JSON plugin. So what, what's gonna be returned is the response from our search. So I'm gonna label this search response. The URL that we want to fetch is the URL we just created, the search URL. And then from the response, we wanna parse using this JQ query that we created earlier. So I'll pass that in there. And it's saying it can't do anything. It's probably because we have a bad word. So replace this with there. And then here, now you can see we have this definition uh, as a response. So let's go ahead and display this on the screen. So we can come to this and let's get a rich text and let's just display in here that response. So now if we paste in other things, we now see the response. And so now we're able to uh, pass in data and get that response. We're basically fetching, we're getting that data, we're searching an API inside of Glide. This is really, really cool. So now we have this really cool dictionary search API. So looking up the definition of a word, but as you and I know, uh, some words mean multiple things and therefore there are multiple definitions. So I wanted to take this one step further and show you how you can display the different definitions for the word. I went ahead and searched for bear. So my word was bear here. And as you can see, we have a definition. So there's definition one, definition two, definition three. And if we collapse that, we can scroll down some more and we see there's more meanings for the word. So as it is a noun, so up here, bear as a verb, up here, bear as a noun. And there's definitions down here. So what we can do is actually go back to Glide, come back to the data editor. So here in the JQ query, right now we're getting the first of basically everything to give us our definition. But what we can do is actually do remove that zero 
And what this is going to do is return a list of all possible definitions that are in that path. Remove that zero, done. So now we go back and you can see there is a list of definitions here. So what we can do is now format this a little bit better with another template column. Template, and I'll do, we'll call it clean definitions. Oh, not a relation, a template. And so now let's start to replace this text a little bit. So at the beginning of the list, you can see we have the square bracket with a quotation there. So let's go ahead and replace that with a with some HTML. So we'll do a ordered list and then start, start a list item. And then in between, we have a quotation, a comma, and then a quotation. And I'm just gonna kind of breeze through this because I've already kind of tested this out. So we'll do a stop a list, start a list item. And then at the very end, we have a quotation and then a closing square bracket. And so then we'll do a closing uh, list HTML tag and then close the ordered list HTML tag. And then we'll click done. And now this is gonna format this inside of here. Uh, I freaked out there for a second, but we have to change the column this is pointed to. Now this is pointing to clean definitions. And so now as we search, we get all of the possible definitions displayed. And so that is how, my friends, I would create a dictionary uh, using the new Fetch JSON plugin inside of Glide. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have this app linked below where you can test it out. Again, I also have my APIs Made Simpler guide linked at the very uh, top of the description, so be sure to check that one out. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.